Oh, hello. We're on a roundabout. This is known as Little Chiv. And Big Chiverton is over there. Chiverton is a nightmare roundabout. It's got seven accesses. No, it has it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, seven if you call the on and offs, all right? But it's not a nightmare if you follow the lines that are written on the road. However, <laughs> there lies a problem, and that would be another video completely. So what we're going to talk about now is roundabouts. Because roundabouts are easy, aren't they? Apparently not. Apparently not. So, roundabouts. Very, very simple thing to get down. What's the whole point of a roundabout? Any idea? The whole point of a roundabout is for traffic flow. Now that's simple, isn't it? The line at the end as you enter the roundabout is a giveaway, so if it's clear, you can go straight onto the roundabout. What does everyone do in a cage? They all stop at the giveaway, which causes problems. And then to compound it, the council on the approach to the roundabout put those big barriers up, don't they? Yeah, you know, you so you can't see onto the roundabout anyway, so it forces you to stop. And then on the roundabout, they put those massive big flower displays, which look fantastic, but it stops you seeing over the roundabout, which causes you to stop. So I just put a set of traffic lights there. Rant over, it frustrates me. Anyway, so what we're looking for when we get to a roundabout, any ideas? You're not gonna answer me, are you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. I asked this question of so many people when we've got associates coming through. What are you looking for around about? And they're going, cars. You're not looking for cars, you're looking for gaps in the traffic because the gap is where you can go. But how do you find a gap? So I always say to people, where's your first um, hazard? You know, where's your first concern? And they look at you and they go, oh, and here we are we're looking at a roundabout now. Pan to the roundabout, Toby. Pan. So as we got here, we've got a road here, which is the road we're going to use as the road that we're on. Can you see that from that this wide is angle? This road here, yeah. All right. Where this white car is just about. That's, so that's the road we're talking about. Then we have another junction over there where that white car's going handily. Yeah. Then on the other side where all those sign paths are, and that white car is now going towards, but he's going to come right the way around. Yeah. There's another junction. And then off towards where that black car is going, there's another junction. So we have four roads on this roundabout. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. What really could be easy. simpler? Right, video done, let's go. <laughs> so here we are, we're approaching this roundabout. Let's say for argument's sake, we're gonna go straight over where this nice Volkswagen camper yeah. van's going. See, we've ordered all these props. We have. So I say to people, where's your first hazard area? And they always say, this area here. Meaning this junction. Where this here. black car's just yeah. gone, all right? That can't be a hazard because that's not a hazard until you actually get onto the roundabout. You've got to get on the roundabout first. So the first place you've got to concern yourself out is that junction over there where that blue car is with the ladder on the roof. Because you're joining here now, if he's coming towards you, that's a hazard. Mm. But what makes it easy is if he comes to that junction and from the line of the road over the directly ahead of you, if there's a car there, He's effectively blocking that blue van that was there originally. So there's your gap, which is easy. Then once you're on the, onto the road, your hazard then is this where this truck has just come out. And then if you're going straight on, looking over your shoulder, make sure nothing's coming yeah. and you're off. That's a roundabout. Mm. Anything else I can expand on there, Toby, that you think I've missed? Well, no, I think it... <coughs> Roundabouts are always very good, and you see on these videos all the time that people go, I've got right away, I've got right away. You have, but you give way to the right, don't you? Yeah. And for a bit of planning, coming up to the roundabout, so I'm this this car, behind this car now, I can see that there's a silver car there. He's not stopping, so somebody's there. He's my first hazard, so I have to stop and wait. Simple. Really, really simple stuff. Now there's a gap in between the blue one and the silver one because he's given me information he's going off that way, so I'm out. It couldn't be simpler. It couldn't, it however, couldn't. it's a massive, massive problem. But I guess what we have to say is that when you're on a roundabout and you're not thinking about those things, there's a million and one things happening at the same time. There are. So you mentioned about the council putting these wonderful signs right here, <laughs> right where you need to look to see whether it's clear, which is really, really helpful, isn't it? Because it helps everybody see nothing. Then you've got the chevrons in the middle, trees and branches and overgrown rubbish in the middle, helps everyone not. 
But then you've got signs there like the Esso. You might want to get petrol. You might think, oh, have I done that? You've got all the cars coming out of here. You've got cars coming out of every junction. So it's about one of our mates, Chris, says all the time, it's about advanced riding is about time and space. I'm going to put it on his gravestone. When yeah. he dies, I'll be there. Here's Chris. You run out of time and yeah. space. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time and space. And slowing down and using the system like Mark's just talked about and looking for gaps, you're already prepared on your bike. You've slowed everything down. It's about planning. Yeah. And planning starts on this roundabout. Yeah. Walk this way. If I can walk that way, it'd be in hospital. Yeah. Planning starts right down that road where that car's going now. Yeah. We're planning for the roundabout. And if you turn this way, okay, as we're approaching this roundabout, we're looking at what is coming out of this junction here. Then we're looking out at what's coming from across the other side of the road. And assuming we can get straight onto the roundabout, where this van is now is what we're actually going to deal with. That's our first hazard. Yeah. All right. So not necessarily do we have to stop. Sometimes we do, yeah. but we're planning for that all the time. So it's all about planning. Whereas now this car, this black car coming up, there's nothing on the right. He's gone carried on right through. Lovely. But this white car is going to have to stop now because that blue car's there. It couldn't be simpler. Now there's a gap, white car's going. We sound like we're ranting a bit actually, don't we? <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's really funny, isn't it? Because let's get us back. I don't know whether we're both in the shot there. We are now. The good thing about it, it sounds like we're making it sound really simple because that's what it is. It's really simple. But there are lots and lots of things happening around the roundabout and all these road junctions that take people's um, concentration away and especially if you're in a place that you don't know so let's get off the road a little bit there you so go. mark and i ride around all ride, ride around the world and we see loads of different sorts of traffic systems don't we all over the place what about the french system well the french system don't go to the art de triomphe <laughs> <laughs> However, when we're away, we apply the same principles because it's just on the other side of the road. And we just slow things down. And it may, you know, people come down to Cornwall that are on holiday that clearly don't know where they're going, even there's a sat-nav, and that's understandable. You might not have been here before. But the stuff on the road is no different down here than it is anywhere else in the UK. And when you've got that Ipska system and you understand the simplicity of a roundabout, you understand the simplicity of getting through it. I agree with you. So it's all about planning. It's all about looking at what's, what's coming around. And it's all about looking for gaps, not cars. Nice exhaust, apparently. It's all about looking for gaps and not cars. We're looking for gaps to fit onto the roundabout. And that helps the traffic, traffic run smoothly. Yeah. So there we are. Uh, anything else you want to add? Don't think so. No. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, make your comments. I'm sure there'll be hundreds and thousands, and we always like them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.